Oh, you smell this dust? I'm pretty sure I smell Italian food, good Italian food. I think that's where we're gonna go. Oh, Italian. Look at that truck. It's cheap. <laughs> so we made it. We made it to Ure, 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 Colorado. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out, how, I'm gonna figure out how to pronounce it. Are we standing in the middle of a road? All right, let's go over here. So, first thing on the agenda is to find some dinner. Ben yeah. told me earlier that he thinks he is okay with Italian food, so we're gonna try some Italian food. Maybe he gets some juice. on some occasions. We're gonna maybe get some spaghetti. I smelled something a minute ago, and I can't be this way. But maybe it's this way. This has got to be the prettiest place I have ever been. So, the hostess said it's Ure. Ure. Not like your Ray, but Ure. Said, forget the O. Ure. Ure. It works. What? You're A. You're A. You're A. What'd you think of that place, Ben? It was okay. It was all right? Mm -hmm. He's a super, super picky eater. I thought that place was great. So I just heard back from one of my buddies. I'm not actually sure what we're gonna do now because he's saying that he's like pretty tied up and cell service isn't very good and I can't get a hold of anybody because cell service isn't very good. So I'm gonna go down the street. Uh, I've got like a couple of, so I have this app. I don't even know where I heard of it from. It's called iOverlander. And there's a couple of uh, camp spots marked on this thing, just like right down the road. This is the icon iOverlander right there. Anyway, I've got a couple of camp spots on there. I'm gonna go check out and see, like, I, I don't know, just go see what happens. I get the feeling that like this place is really busy and finding a camping spot may be nearly impossible. So I, I'm really not sure what to expect, honestly. Okay, so what we are doing is, I don't really know anything about camping around here. I don't know if I can just like go anywhere and camp somewhere just up a hill or whatever. I kind of think I can. I've talked to somebody, a few people that said that, that, that you can. So a responsible person would have done their proper research before coming out here. I recognize that. But I just, I kind of poked around on the uh, on the National Forest website for the San Juan Mountains and all that. And I didn't see where it said like, you can only camp in marked spots, but it said there's basically, there's tons and tons and tons of camping. So I, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, so this is what we're doing though. I've got a, a map marker for, I went up the road, the cell service was just terrible there in Ure, Ure. And so I went up the road and got a little service, was able to download some maps. 
Um, and so now I'm going up to uh, Red Mountain Pass. Uh, and then I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find a camping spot up there and then I want to see Yankee Boy Basin tomorrow So I'm hoping that I can maybe find that I also have like a paper map that I got from somewhere I know that you're supposed to have paper maps, but I just hate carrying paper maps because you know There's one problem with paper maps is that if you don't know where you are, they don't do you any good. It's almost 11 o'clock. I'm uh, whispering because like everybody's in bed. Um, I was pretty frustrated earlier. I don't like being around large groups of people. I don't like camping around large groups of people. I don't like overlanding around large groups of people because I like to do my own thing. I've always been, I've always been that way. I've always just wanted to be alone. You know what I mean? Like, not like I like being like by myself like all the time. And I love being around my family. I just mean like, I don't like going around with large groups of people. So I'm used to, like when I'm ready to camp, just like finding a spot to camp. But this place is like so packed out. There's so many people here that I can't just like pull over on the side of the road and like, camp wherever I want. Uh, I know I said earlier that like I think I could camp anywhere. Um, maybe that's true in some places but I was going up mountain roads that I could find and the cell phone service here is not good at all right now because I think it's just so many people here it's just bogging down the bandwidth but like I kept seeing signs like no camping except for in designated spots, no camping past this point, like I don't know this area and there was people everywhere and the last thing I wanted to do was like park somewhere and camp and then like middle of the night somebody like come up and be like hey you can't be here i'm at a koa nothing wrong with koa actually i've always been very happy with koas they've always been clean and neat and tidy it's just not my thing tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna try and do something awesome oh, yeah. Remember on that little trip we did up in Georgia when I reset my Ston deflators because they were like all erratic? Well, apparently, I think, I think the four that were riding around in the pouch, this is an assumption because I don't have any, I don't have any information without uh, testing it. But my assumption, because four of the tires were perfect. They're right at like 16.5, 17, which I wanted to be like 15, but that's close enough. The two back tires, they looked really low, and they are, they're 11. I mean, that's probably okay. It's lower than I like to run. I like to be around 15. Um, 18's a little high, it's still a little bumpier for my taste. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go through and fix them real quick. All right, we got a plan. So, I just talked to Justin McBride. He's just this guy I've been talking to. He works with CBI and does some other stuff. Anyway, they're doing Yankee Boy Basin. They're leaving in about 20 minutes. I gotta get myself packed up and get down there. We're gonna meet them, and then we're gonna go do that. Talk to the KOA front office. They said that I can leave the trailer here. They got a place for me. And uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I gotta move fast. So, this is where we have dropped a trailer. So, a world of people that see things. Please don't steal my trailer. I really like it. And I want it to be here when I get back. Now, I don't know what people do to steal trailers. And those that have had their, tra their trailer stolen, I don't know what they're doing. But this is what I do. Obviously, everything's locked up. 
you don't not only have to have a max coupler, but you'd have to be able to unlock this or cut it, I guess, um, or cut this right here. So, hopefully I'm safe. Let's go somewhere. How's your drive been? Good. How's your drive been? My drive has been beautiful, spectacular. You're only six hours from here. Well. Are you in Salt Lake? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like six hours. It's kind of like six hours. It's almost, well, if you had a regular car at the speed limit, it's six <laughs> hours with a lifted Toyota it's like elevation. It's like five and a half hours. No, it's like add two hours, gas stops. And, oh, you know. yeah, gas stops. Well, gas stops. six hours according to Google Maps. Yeah, Google Maps says it's six hours. So I should be down here more than I am. This is Justin McBride. Hey guys. McBride? Yeah, well, McBride. if you want to toss me a, you know, a Benjamin or two, I'll be a McBride. I'm Jason, this is Justin. I have no idea who we're meeting with, but we're gonna go do Yankee Boy Basin today. Yeah, and Governor's probably. In Governor's probably. Yeah, we hear there's a waterfall and flowers there. Waterfall and flowers always makes for a good combination. Yeah. The lower shock bolt snapped in half, Ooh. and the shock was just hanging there. Ouch. So. Well, it can be fixed, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I already have the guy ordering new shafts for it, and it's gonna be rebuilt, and then having custom lower shock mounts made, so. Okay, so today may or may not be what I was planning on doing. We're doing Yankee Boy Basin, and we're doing maybe something else, and I'm not sure if I can get in or out easily, or come back easily, or, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna follow these guys and see what happens and hopefully I get home before it's too late tonight because I got church in the morning. Although fortunately, my new ward in Utah doesn't start until 11, which I prefer to go early. But 11's great if you need to sleep in a little bit. That's kind of cool because I'll probably be getting home a little late tonight. I'm sorry, Ashley. All right, here we go. I'm so giddy, I'm like super, super excited. I'm almost shaking, I'm so excited. This is just some cool, oh man. We, we, we came up here last night and it's just, it's crazy up here. This photo op time? Will you? Yeah, that'll be great. is is Nate. Nate owns CBI Off-Road. I've been talking to them for a while. 
primarily because I'm gonna make the move to do a rear bumper pretty soon. What, what is happening right now? Why is this so bright? The bottom line is this. I wanted to get a chance to hang out with these guys. Justin McBride hooked us up, introduced us, and today we're gonna go have some really big adventure. I just remembered though, by the way, I forgot to bring my lunch. So we'll have to figure out how that works. I've never seen anything like this, ever. Hey. Wow. Uh, it's so incredible everywhere. That's the coolest thing about this place. seeing this place this place is it's amazing i've never never have i seen anything like this in person wow wow this is incredible i wonder if you can camp up here somebody's got a tent here right there but then right over here there's a sign that says no tents so i don't know anyway i have to figure that out because it would be awesome to camp up here this is incredible wow I'm sure you've probably heard, where's the light? There's the sun. I'm sure you've probably heard of CBI. I consider them, and this isn't like me like trying to be extra nice, but like I consider them to be one of the premier off-road fabrication you know, companies out there. I've got a front bumper from C4. I've been really, really happy with it, but I've been really following um, CBI as well. T give us a, like a quick elevator pitch. Tell us like what An you got. elevator pitch. Yeah, we've got 30 seconds, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, uh, I mean, we're a bumper manufacturer. We do bumpers, skids, sliders, and now roof racks with Prinsu, so. So you guys uh, just bought Prinsu, right? We did, uh, just over a year ago. That's awesome. Yeah. How is it acquiring another entity? It's a challenge, yeah. it's a challenge. <laughs> I'm yeah. getting, getting ready to go through that as well. I mean, I don't have anybody we're buying yet, but we moved up to Park City with the intention of buying. So if you've got a vacation rental company in Park City, you're looking to sell it, give me a call. But uh, <laughs> so is there any high points or low points or, or just like maybe? Uh... So uh, American made, I think that's huge. Um, they're hand built. We take into account uh, the use and the functionality. So structurally, I mean, we want everything to be super sound and, and strong. Okay. And then the aesthetics. Um, we really look at the aesthetics of the vehicle and how the bumper integrates with the body lines and all of that. Um, I think those are kind of our main points that we really look at. Um, we've got phenomenal welders. That doesn't hurt, right? You get really, not only beautiful welds, but structurally sound welds. Um, that's kind of really what we're built off. I mean, yeah. we, just a bunch of enthusiasts, people that love their jobs and put out cool stuff. Where are you guys based out of? We're out of Idaho Falls. Idaho Falls. Yeah. Where is that in Idaho? That's so north, south, central? Southeastern Idaho. Southeastern Idaho. At. Okay. Yeah, so about three, uh, three hours north of Salt Lake. Three hours north of Salt Lake. Yep. All right, well, that's not too so, far from me, so yeah. I might have to come up and pay you a visit. Yeah. Is, there, any, is there anything fun to do up there? Oh, there's tons. I mean, we're an hour and a half from Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Park. Really? We have the St. Anthony Sand Dunes that are like 35 miles from, from our shop. Really? I mean, we'll go 
up there after work. Just everything. So. Wow. There's some cool spots. Yeah. A lot of cool things yeah. to see. <laughs> sounds like sounds like this part of the country. That's why I'm so excited about being out here. It's like like this where we are right now is six hours from my house. That's you know. Cool. Now Justin reminded me earlier that it's not really six hours with fuel stops and everything else, which is also true because we live our lives about 200 miles at a time on the highway. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, but still, it's it's not like. I mean, that's that's about the same distance it would have taken me from Florida to get up to the George Traverse, you know, and the George Traverse is great, but come on. I mean, you can't, pretty amazing you can't there. compare to this. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Uncomparable? Uncomparable. You cannot compare to this. Comparable. <laughs> it's been compared. that way somewhere. This is so incredible. You know, I haven't actually seen anything that I wouldn't be able to do with my wife's stock Land Cruiser. There'd be some stuff you'd need to go slow on, but she's got the tires. The vehicle would handle it. I'm not sure she would... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure she would want to handle it, but maybe I could talk her into it. If nothing else, maybe we come up just a little bit and see some stuff and um, maybe we camp down at the base somewhere uh, or maybe get a little Airbnb or hotel or something. I don't know, but I'd love to be able to share this with them. Right now it's like 12.15 and uh, Justin is taking my picture and uh, there he is. <laughs> I can't get over how incredible. I just can't get over how incredible this place is. So Nathan was just telling me that he's been, you, did you say you've been to most of the peaks around here? Most of them. In the your area? I think Cinnamon Pass is the only one I haven't been to. And he said that, that the Yankee Boy Basin where we are right now rivals, I mean, it's, he said, he, in his opinion, it's better than anything else he's, he's been to. So I have not been to anything else, but maybe this is a really good first experience because this, this is absolutely incredible. It's, it's so amazing. Look at this. I really hope that, I'm out of breath. I really hope this is capturing this. I'm hope this guy can get around me. I'm not too much of a jerk here. Sorry, sorry guy. Look at this. Wow. Are you 
kidding me? This is crazy. Look at this. Holy. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Time to go down. It's two o'clock, I got six hours ahead of me, plus we gotta get down, get the trailer. We might be on the road by four if we're lucky. It's gonna be late night, but that's okay because I get to sleep in tomorrow. Remember I told you earlier? Anyway, this has been incredible. Worth every second of it. Not gonna do any fancy, fun wheeling shots on the way down. I'm gonna do, I don't know, let's say eight dashboard cam shots with the Lumix. What do you say? Put a wide angle lens on there, get the views. Not too shabby. Anyway, um, I, I don't know what else I'm gonna say. So what do you think? Is this is this the end of the road as we know it? It is. Yeah, I think so. I think you've got a lot more road. <laughs> I do, but you have you have that road tomorrow or I do. Monday well, or whenever tomorrow. you Tomorrow. Yeah. 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 What do you guys got going on today? Just going to go back and hang out at the uh, finish the vendor show tonight and yeah. then take it down and leave in the morning. Right on. Nate, Justin. Yep. Thanks hey. so much for letting me tag along today. Thank you for coming. You seriously awesome. showed me like the most incredible stuff I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, it's. I'm not exaggerating. You gotta it's come amazing. Back. Let's do it again. It was incredible. Was it incredible? Yeah, we'll do it again. Let's do we'll it. We'll have to do it again. That'd be great. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This vlog, it's over. Some people just film. Some people like Dan to him to film games. Chocolate rain. That's a pretty good impression. You think? Am I ties on day? You should bring it back, Justin. Yeah, bring it back. Just bring it back. Rain. <laughs>